In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to use Cloud Render on Revit. When you, opened, when you open up your project, you're going to open up one of the 3D views that you may have already established. And you can use, the, you can use Cloud Rendering anytime you want. And what's so great about it is that as you are rendering in Cloud, you can work on your project at the same time. Though rendering most of the time in cloud only takes like 10 minutes and you could still be working on your project at the same time. Um, so once you have it established, like the way I have it, I have all my shading the way I want the shading, all my shadows the way I want. I have lighting the way I want. And so I'm just going to click render in cloud, hit continue. It's really quick and easy, honestly. Uh, you're going to make sure that it's a still image. I would put render quality to final. And then, especially if this is your final final, maximum. And then make sure it's advanced exposure and just click render. So as you can see right here, in just a moment, it's going to give me an, the ability to click continue in background as I'm working on the project. And it says that some of my images are missing, but that's okay. Just because I transferred this file from a different computer, not all files, not all images will move with it. So now, as that's being rendered online, you could just click Render Gallery right here, and it'll open up a window in Chrome, and it's gonna show you all the renderings that you have ever done using cloud. Now, I have a lot just because as I'm working on my project, I really like to look and see if I like the way it looks. Now I'm trying to view my project. Now, as you can see right here, as I work on my project, I do lots of renderings. <laughs> but as you can see, as I render, I just fix little things as I go. Right here, the wall wasn't long enough, so I extended it. I even added trim just really helps me with the design process. And I add more and more stuff and see if I like the way that the colors look. I even messed around with the shadows to see if they would move. So rendering really is a really cool and unique thing. And even my other building for my exterior view, I would do a lot of editing around and seeing what I like and didn't like, even with trees. <laughs> but that's all I really have to say about rendering. Um, until next time.